What's up guys, it's Pro Warriors, and today I'm trying out the PS3 emulator APS3E, the premium version 1.20 from the Google Play Store. In case you didn't know, APS3E V1.20 has officially been submitted to Google for review and is gearing up for a global release. The official name will be APS3E Premium. Once it gets approved, the emulator will become an open source project, allowing the community to contribute and shape its development. Just like PPSSPP's sponsorship model, good news, APS3E has been approved by the Google Play Store and now both versions are available. At first, we will download the APS3E emulator on our Android phone. Head over to the Google Play Store and search for the APS3E emulator. In the search results, you can see there are two different versions of this app. The second app is APS3E Gold, which is a paid version. In this video, I will try the paid version and test it. And I would recommend the blue one, which is 100% free and has no ads. After installation, you might wonder what's different from the original APS3E version. The interface looks familiar, but one big improvement is that they've finally added a game directory option. In the previous version, we had to manually select each PKG file one by one. We all know APS3E requires the PS3 firmware to operate. This PS3 firmware is available on the official PlayStation 3 website, so download it from there and then install the firmware. One notable thing here, it doesn't take too much time to compile the firmware like RPCSX. That's really good. Now install ISO or PKG game files, meaning it supports both game formats. But now you can add all your games at once. Just click on set ISO directory, navigate to the folder where your games are stored, and then tap use this folder. Disclaimer, the emulator itself is legal, but using illegal ROMs is forbidden. I do not support or provide access to pirated games, so please use legal copies for your safety. If you go to the About section, you'll see that the GPU is now configured with Vulkan drivers, along with updated CPU support, so that's already a good sign. Heading into the Settings menu under Core Settings, one of the key improvements is the ability to adjust the core PPU decoder and thread settings. Using Recompiler LLVM is fine as the PPU decoder. For PPU threads, check your phone's thread count in the system info. Some of these settings can significantly improve performance, but if you're unsure, it's completely fine to stick with the default values. Now let's talk about the most anticipated update, the video settings. Here, you can choose between OpenGL and Vulkan as your rendering API. Personally, I recommend Vulkan for better performance on most devices. If you're running high-end games, lowering the resolution to something like 720x480 can really help boost performance. The frame rate can go up to 120 FPS, but I suggest keeping it on auto for now to maintain stability. Also, set the aspect ratio to 16 to 9 and enable both right color buffers and right depth buffers. Enable V-Sync, which helps eliminate screen tearing, and toggle stretch mode for full screen gameplay. There are plenty more new features here to explore. At the bottom of the page, you'll find the Vulkan settings. Here, enable Use Custom Driver, then select the custom driver path from your phone's storage. I'm using Adreno 819. Unfortunately, non-Snapdragon users can't take advantage of this feature. Also, enable the Performance Overlay option to monitor your game's performance. The resolution scale can be useful for low-end devices. Since we already selected the lowest resolution, some high-end games might still lag. In that case, decrease the resolution scale further. The other options are fine. You don't need to change them. Lastly, I want to mention that they've added a new feature called Reset to Default. It's very useful if you've messed up the settings. So this is a demonstration of the APS3E paid version. It costs around $6, which isn't too much. It's more like a donation to support the developer and help continue the project. If you can't purchase it, then share this video and spread the information. Let's help as many people as possible learn about APS3E. Let's appreciate the hard work and effort the developers are putting in. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more emulator updates. Take care.